This tutorial will cover how we can achieve some simple masking with C4 Studio and how we need to set up some more complex shapes. We're going to do this by animating a loading bar that looks like it has liquid filling inside of it. First thing we need to do is create an artboard, size of an iPhone 6, rename it to start. And what I'm going to do is create a shape with my pen. We're going to use the alignment tools to fix where the vertices sit to get a nice symmetrical wave shape. And we're going to use mirrored. So this will be our loading liquid. We can hide that for now. The next thing we're going to do is create the pill that's going to be filled in. and we want it to have rounded corners. To make the rounded corners work in C4 Studio, we cannot be using the radius, so we need to actually create um, the curves. To do that, the easiest way is to create a shape right on top that stays within the frame. We're going to use a union to bring the shapes together into a combined shape, and then we can flatten. What this will do is now there's no radius, but it's created all the vertices that we require. Next, we want to create the mask. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to subtract the pill shape from a full-sized shape. So we're going to hit subtract. We can now see through to our loading layer. So we can just style this by filling it with white. One more thing we need to do to make sure that this mask works in C4 Studio is to unroll the combined shapes and make sure that this is set to subtract. Sometimes it's set to none, which still looks okay inside a sketch, but for C4 Studio, we need to make sure to subtract is selected. So we can call this our pill. And we're now ready to use the duplicate command from the C4 Studio plugins. Duplicate the artboard, rename the second artboard to end, and now we just need to place our outline so that it's hidden off screen, and then it fills in. Now what I notice is they're both roughly the same Y position. So this means is it'll just be a direct translation. So what I need to do is nudge this shape higher to the next value. Okay, that should work. We can always adjust the animation later, of course. So let's save this file. Loading wave. Now we can switch over to C4 Studio. So first we'll create a new project, link to a sketch file, select our loading wave sketch file, and then we're going to link this artboard to our start and this artboard to our end. And if we hit spacebar or play, the animation happens quite quickly. So let's uniformly scale our animation by clicking on the stopwatch and moving it up to 1.25 seconds. And now let's test that out. We can exaggerate the feel of the liquid within the pill by unrolling transition. And then only on the Y axis animation, we can set it to ease in and out. And the liquid looks a bit more dynamic. From here, 
we can save our C4 Studio file, export code, which we can give to our developer to use in an application, or we can export a movie.